Hi guys, I'm Paddy from windowanddoorparts.ie and this is the second video of three about the three types of condensation that form on windows and doors. In this video I'm going to be talking about condensation that forms on the interior surface of the windows and glazing. Now this is a general overview and every home is going to have their own specific combination of causes for condensation to form. I'm also going to try and explain it in a jargon free way so that everyone can understand. Condensation that forms on the interior surface of the windows and glazing is for the most part a seasonal problem. During the winter months the difference in temperature between the cold outside and the warm inside gives rise to this problem. The colder it is outside the more likely it is for condensation to form. Why does condensation form on my windows and glass? Condensation forms when humid air comes into contact with a cold surface. The coldest surface in your home is more than likely going to be the glazing of your windows and doors. Glass is a poor thermal insulator compared to the other building elements of your home, like your walls. In the majority of cases, whether you have single, double or triple glazing, the glazing will always lose more heat compared to the other building elements of your home. The insulation of your glazing will have a great effect on the formation of condensation. The lower the heat loss, the less condensation will form. Single glazed windows and doors will have extremely high levels of condensation as the heat loss is very high. Energy rated double and triple glazed windows and doors will have low levels of condensation as the heat loss is very low. This is a video I made when changing the glass in this window from single glazing to A energy rated double glazing. The top section of the window had the doom double glazing installed about a week prior and the bottom section has the existing single glazing. I did this especially so I could show you the difference in condensation between single and energy rated double glazing and it was definitely not because I ordered the wrong size. We can see here there's no condensation on the new double glazing and there's condensation on the single glazed. That's not to say that changing your windows and doors to triple glazing will solve the problem. I've seen many triple glazed windows with condensation. As low as the heat loss is through the triple glazing, it's still going to have the highest heat loss compared to the other building elements, such as the walls. It's best to tackle the source of the humid air. Where is the humid air coming from? In short, us. Our own respiration, just breathing in and out, and perspiration are one of the biggest sources. Over a 24 hour period, the average adult will generate between one and two liters of water vapor. Steam from cooking, showering, boiling kettles, drying clothes, house plants, gas room heaters are all sources of humid air. What will happen if I don't do anything? Mold forms in damp conditions and the condensation around windows is ideal for mold to grow. Mold can destroy blinds and curtains and the condensation can cause wooden windows and window boards to rot. I have condensation or mold forming on the plaster around my window frames. It is very common to see mold forming on the plaster around window frames. This is usually a sign that the space behind the plaster is uninsulated and therefore cold enough for the condensation to form. How can I stop condensation forming? The first thing to do is increase ventilation. Essentially you want to remove the humid air from inside the house to the outside. Open the windows in your house for short periods throughout the day if possible, about 10 minutes. It's important to ventilate the whole house, otherwise you'll be moving the humid air from one room to the other. Saying that, this is the last thing that people want to do when they're spending money to try and heat their homes during the winter. Another option is trickle ventilation. It's possible to retrofit trickle vents into some windows and can really help with the formation of condensation. The trickle vents are controllable and can be opened and closed. Check out my video on how to retrofit trickle vents into UPVC windows. Try and dry clothes outside. I know this is easier said than done in the winter, but it will help. When showering and cooking, make sure your extractor fans are running and let them keep running for about 10 or 15 minutes after you've finished. If you don't have extractor fans, open up the windows to let the moist air out. So that's it for the second video in this series. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. The next video in the series is going to be about the condensation that forms between the two panes of glass in double glazing.